Okay, so welcome to the second part of Dota Buff Closer Look on the website of all statistics. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you want uh, the other team or other players to see them, it will be here. So let's go with the other part, which is actually the overall statistic for heroes, items and matches. So as you can see, the tab heroes. You have every single hero, you have all heroes. Those are current heroes. That is going to be Meepo added next week, so definitely be excited about that. And my games, of course, with him. But as you can see, all the heroes, um, Alchemist first and Zeus is actually last. Who knew? So those are the all heroes. You can click individually on them and see the overview. Yet again, always it brings you at the overview in the beginning. So most used items, for example, for Ancient Apparition here. So this month, we can actually... No, we can't. It's only for this month. Okay. It's still a lot of, as you can see, usage. Plus, you can kind of see how many times the hero is actually played this month. So... That's interesting. So most used items was a Magic Wand, Arcane Boot, Mechans, Urn, Cyclone. Cyclone? <laughs> I think it was called a little bit differently, but it's fine. Let's call it Cyclone for now. And you can see even the winning ratio with that item. I was actually going through this, um, because I'm going to show you in the second part, but this item, what it means, the winning ratio, it's the in the end of the match. So if you have Magic Wand in the end of the match, it's going to create a statistic. So if you lose, it's going to lower the winning ratio. If you win, it's going to boost the winning ratio for the overall, you know, Ancient Apparition. It's for the end of the game. It doesn't mean anything when you buy the item, you know, at the, at the beginning. Let's say you have a Magic Stick at the beginning, okay? Then you, of course, upgrade the Magic Stick. So the Magic Stick doesn't count as winning ratio, only the Magic Wand. That's how it seems it works. And winning ratio, as you can see, for Ancient Apparition is 47%. So he's like in the middle, as actually most heroes. Um, and he's 59th this month in popularity. So interesting, that's the overview, as you can see. Um, <laughs> we got under status statistic, which is best versus, and this month yet again, and worst versus. And the best versus is Bad Rider Visage, Pagna Alchemist, and Brute Mother. So he's basically winning against them most, as you can see from. 4,700 matches, he has 2,600 wins. It's gonna be, as you can see, pretty even, pretty even statistics about the wins, I guess, as you can see. It's it's around 54, 55% with the Ancient Repression, so good for him. And worst, he's against Lycan, Arza, Trian, Protector, Tidehunter, and Nenga Siren. So, pretty good. He played a lot, shit ton of games against Tidehunter. It's like a duel, okay? Immortals. <laughs> fighting for their lives, or fish and whatever, icy guy. But 26,000 games, he won 10,000 games of those, so it's 40%. But still, you know, it's 26,000 games. I will give him some credit for that. That is actually pretty decent statistics to see, so that is it. Uh, that is the overview for the zero. You can even see the items, what I use most. You can go for the old time, so let's go there. So as you can see, all time he was played about a million times, okay? Of course, nobody, not everybody buys the magic wand, I guess, but the overall, everybody was actually... Oh, sorry, he was played like a million times, which is pretty insane. As I said, these items are counted for the winning ratio, you know, if you lose or, or, or won, in the end of the game, meaning the loading screen at the end of the game, what items you have, this will be for the winning ratio, because look at that. The lowest... Pff, hold on. The lowest winning ratio is with the Animal Courier. So this statistic is basically telling you, if you don't know what's behind it, don't buy Animal Courier, or you have only 16% winning chance. <laughs> From now on, I'm not going there, okay? I'm not gonna buy freaking Animal Courier at all, because the winning ratio for the Animal Courier is pretty low. But that's because one thing. That's because you bought those Ancient Apparitions, okay, 843, bought only Animal Career, and nobody, nobody upgraded that Animal Career. So, 1000 games were lost because the Career was not upgraded, basically. Because if you're gonna go to the Flying One, as you can see, it should be around... It's actually... F okay, this is just for Ancient Apparition, that's actually fine, but overall statistics for all the items, for all heroes, should be actually around 50%. Because, obviously, I think it will be around 50%, but, yeah, this is it. Um, what this basically means is that he was trying to get power threads, as you can see, but he didn't finish them, and usually when you don't finish the power threads in a time, you are losing, so this statistic is perfectly copying that. Buckler. You don't just buy Buckler to have a Buckler, right? You, you want it to have a Mechans. But this guy, 57, oh, not guys, oh, sorry, guys, 57,000 of them, 
uh, they didn't finish the mech, they had just a buckler and that's why they lost 74-76% uh, of time they lost, so it definitely tells you it's gonna chainmail, trying to get the mech, not enough time trying to get the mech, not enough time, not even upgrading boot 217,000 people not didn't upgrade their boot for engine reparation and that's why they lost actually that many times, so these are basically the builds that are, they are trying to do but they are not able to finish it because the game is like, game is like already over and we have the, the third one, the third tab, which are the matchups. Uh, this was the overview in the beginning, right now, as you can see. This is the winning ratio, the most and the less. And of course, the matches played against these heroes. So, let's see the most matches played is against Pudge. But that's not because of Pudge, that's mostly because of Pudge is actually the most popular hero. We will get to it very, 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 very soon. There's Invoker, Rubik, Windrun, Bounty Hunter, Nature's Prophet. Pretty much the most popular heroes are at the top, so it doesn't really matter. This engine operation, it could be the Pudge, Invoker, Rubik, Windrun, Bounty Hunter, and Nature's Prophet would be probably on everybody's list at the top. So that is it for engine operation. And let's go to the hero step. So you can do this for each F each one of them, okay? I want to do the clinks, it's the same thing. Of course there are different heroes, different items, but that is based that is it for the first all hero step. Most played heroes. As you can see, a Pudge. And this is one million times only this month, which is kind of insane. It can tell you how many games are actually played here, okay? All the time. Five million five hundred times Pudge was played, and he has fifty percent winning ratio. <laughs> that is kind of insane that you know that maybe I don't know. Does it tell me something about the matchmaking that every single one of them above like million is almost at the fifty percent? See? Above a million, almost everybody. There's nobody below 40 and nobody above 60. It's around that 50% mark. That is... Of course, there are more like 57 with the Arza, which is... He's definitely Pop Stomper. Lich, 57%. So definitely, I guess, most successful support, we could say. Almost. I think we could, actually, here. From this bar. You got Lycan, 58 almost. That's pretty good. So there you go, but you can see the matchmaking definitely is around at 50%, so this is amazing actually see this, seeing this, that the Pudge, 50%, you know, <laughs> 5 million 500,000 games, that is enough for, you know, to show you what matchmaking actually does, I think. This is exactly 50 fucking percent, that's insane, so that is it, and the less played heroes are Alchemist, Jack Hero, Pugna, Brewmaster, and so on, as you can see. It's still around a million, so it's not that bad. As you can see, all the heroes are played from time to time. That's actually a very good statistic for me, at least. To see that, you know, these heroes are actually played. Even though it's Alchemist, and he sucks. And he does, by the way. He does. From these statistics, it's so fucking funny. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Finally something actually different. I'm not really sure what it did. But it seems that Chen is not even played that much. Envisage. Why, hold on. Winning ratio... It's weird because freaking all time. Why is Visage here and not there? I'm not really sure. Maybe this, probably. But Visage is not played at all, it seems. Well, he doesn't fit the public. That's a problem with Visage. You can see the problems right here. That the Visage is best on a tri lane on very aggressive lane, at least. Dual lane works, but not that bad, not that good as a tri lane. Tri lane is kind of needed for the Visage to be active. But obviously, on a, on a public, it's very hard to do that, so. Visage not really played. Okay, the next step is winning ratio. And all time yet again, so we are pretty much specific and right because this month doesn't really mean anything, but all time definitely means something. So it's interesting because I don't really see Trient protectors in the games. It's 760,000 games overall, all time. So from he, when he was released, so that is I think important to say. So that's you know that's why it's not like over a million. It's like little, little less than a million, and it's fifty eight percent. So that is pretty cool. I don't really see Tree and Protector playing though. I can't really remember Tree and Protector defeating me. That's the thing. Maybe I was playing with him sometimes, but not that much actually. So it seems like when he's actually playing, he's pretty good. <laughs> okay, there's Arza like an what you would expect. Lich Tidehunter. Tidehunter, I like it. 55 is actually, I think, a lot compared to how many games he's got, okay? 55 with 3 million games or over 3 million games 
it seems like he's the best support. Like, Lich has 56 or 57, but there's one more million to Tide. So I think Tide is actually successful more than Lich here. For me, at least. And the least successful. Hello, Alchemist. Hello, Visage. Bad Rider Clinks. Doom. And Brute Mother. It's really interesting statistics because I'm gonna show you one more thing when we will be finishing this, but Brute Mother seems to be really bad on publics. It seems to lose more than win, as you can see, 42%. It's not that bad. Uh, but there's, there's statistics of like what is the best enemy for you, and in a lot of them there's a Brute Mother. So I think this Brute Mother is great hero. I would say even overpowered at some times, but. The problem on the public is that your team won't give you space to do what Brute Mother does, meaning get the Soul Ring, get the push, get the push on the left, get the push on the right, and if you know if they're ganging you, your team can move freely, okay? If they're putting like a lot of effort like wards, like you know, presence of support on your lane, team can move so freely. And if it's opposite, like they are fighting with the team, you can move freely. But on a public that is not happening, unfortunately. So Brute Mother is suffering from that, from basically public gameplay unfortunately but yeah 42 percent alchemist and doom as you can see alchemist is appearing in a lot of bad statistics and it definitely is right so if you're gonna go for the alchemist all right look at the winning ratio with the radiance is 65 percent other than that it's below 50 below 40 below 30 it's pretty intense and i don't think i don't know I think Alchemist just sucks as a hero, unfortunately. Like, there's so much heroes that are destroying him, as you can see, pretty much. Overall, this is like overall statistics. So many heroes, and I don't really see Alchemist as a threat. I think that hero could be reworked, because... I even said it, like, before this, like, before I found out this website, I even said it, like, in many games that Alchemist and Doom are probably the worst heroes to play on a public. They just don't work. They don't work, even competitive, whatever, even competitive. They just don't work. And even in public, they don't work. It's, okay, if Alchemist is farming 15 minutes and his whole team is raping, of course he's gonna win some games. But other than that, other than those few games, those 40%, <laughs> okay, he's destroyed. He's completely destroyed, nullified, he's stunned. Like, how many Alchemists are so stunning themselves all the time? It's just, I don't know, it's pretty awkward hero. And I think he should receive some buff, maybe even some skills reworked. But let's go with the game impact. And this is the statistic that I think is l really bad. It hurts because I like Chen. I, lo I love Chen, okay? I'm, I'm a Chen player, let's say. And there's a Chen on a third place, from the bottom, of course. Third place, from the bottom, so. <laughs> and Omni Knight, Chen, Dazzle. Basically, our supports with the heal are on the bottom. Of course, they don't have the impact in sense of assist, damage, and other things, but Omni Knight has technically three passive, not dealing damage skills. The ulti, the passive one is slow, and the repel. And of course, the heal, in some situations, doesn't even have to be damage source. If there's nobody around, but you want a heal guy, you heal guy. Plus, you have a mech, so you are insane support. Omni Knight is a supportive hero. Of course, he's best on a farm, so he can get the mech, the arcane boost fast, or soul ring, whatever. But um, what he does for a team is completely supportive, completely supportive, and it's quite amazing, actually. But of course, game impact, he's lost one. It hurts. It hurts all the Omni Knight players. <laughs> I'm a Chen player, man. It hurts me too. I do so much, I think. I do so much. I'm microing free creeps, you know, my Chen, fucking tornado in the distance. I'm healing, sending my people back, buying mech from nothing because I don't farm, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like I have some game impact. I don't know. But there's a Brute Mother, which is funny because it seems like she's in. I've, I could agree on that. I could agree with the Brute Mother. I'm sorry to all Brute Mother players, but come on, you sit in a web and you're waiting for your. Everybody be gone from a lane, basically. <laughs> or one guy just staying with lower level. Um, that's what you do. So that is it, game impact. You know, ulti, 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 tombstone. You know, I think this kind of tells you what is actually up here. It's just the assist. Usually it's just the assist here. It They have too much value for this statistics. Economy. Let's go for this tab. And it's what you would expect. 
it's nature's prophet like an ant anti mage this month was basically pretty popular as you can see boom third place uh, maybe it's because of international he was played a lot and he was owning so people are like hey i know now how to play anti mage and they don't but it seems like most of them this month are actually doing better than previously but yeah, it, it's basically what you would expect. Bounty Hunter, that's a track. This is, by the way, very low statistics. So overall, not every single Bounty Hunter knows how to play. Because I can tell you... Okay. Okay, I, I, okay, I can tell you that my Bounty Hunters are not below 500 GPM. You could find... Now you can, you know, un, now you can <laughs> go through my profile, select a specific hero, and say, Hey, Alan, you idiot. There is a Bounty Hunter with 200 yours but usually when the game is actually normal there's no way I'm gonna have below 500 no freaking way okay no way so you could you use each track you need to be active that's what bounty hunter is about that's why he's put on a, on a solo on a hard lane so you can just soak some XP's get the levels maybe if you lose it if you're against solo and then you roam you roam for your team you play for your team with the track not you know for whatever no not for items usually that's why he's buying drums to get the mobility, to get some decent statistics, and that is like enough in the beginning. So, those are the heroes you would expect. Lycan, uh, overall, I'd say Lycan is actually a little bit better uh, than Nature's Prophet, scaling wise, because the level, as you can see, this is like, you know, much more than this. So, that is like, you know, 31 at the moment. It's actually changing. I, I, I saw different statistics. So, it's a 31, and here we have, what is it, 45, so it's a 55 here, okay? That's, you know, that's fine, that's, that's okay, but definitely it's a little bit more for Lycan, I think, scaling-wise. I would say Lycan is actually better than Nature's Profit farming and experience-wise overall. But this is the statistic, statistic, and let's see the lower end. It's a Wisp. Crystal Maiden Lion, Ancient Apparition, Shadow Demon. Interesting enough, <laughs> there's there are three heroes in a low four, top low four, and Wisp, Lion, Ancient Apparition, that I would actually put on a mid without any doubt. But unfortunately, how it works on the public, you pick Wisp and everybody's like, oh, support, buy me wards, buy me career, and fuck off. <laughs> die for me, get me the base, return and die. You know, like, these heroes are actually perfect. I would say on a public, they would probably rape much more on a mid than any other lane. But it's fine. Definitely what I would expect, Shadow Demon, yes. Dazzle, yes. Absolutely. Visage, nobody plays him, unfortunately. Airshaker, okay. This makes sense. Chen, definitely. Chen is not really a hero that farms. Uh, sometimes he does, for the mech at least, and then he should be active, but, you know, whatever. So that is it. That is the economy of these heroes. And we have last page, I think, which is items. We can actually go with the matches first. These are all the matches. All matches you can actually see the last one. As you can see, last updated five minutes ago. So it's, it updates, I don't know, each five minutes, each ten minutes. But definitely it does update. So these are the current ones, as you can see. So you can click on it, see what, what was up. The launch of the game, as you can see, somebody left immediately. So <laughs> good luck with that. There's going to be a lot of these games, as you can see. Look at the durations. This is not against bots. This is against normal people. Even stacks, as you can see. So, there is not even game above 20 minutes here. But you have to understand that it's all games. Every single game. So, this could be actually noob games that are just ended in the beginning. This could be like the matchmaking, like, you know, zero games, basically, matchmaking. Pretty much, so. And it's a lot of it. I was kind of surprised. I was like, is this bug? But there's just not games above 20 minutes. <laughs> Which is funny. Like, my games are usually 30 minutes, I'd say. If we are doing good, like we can try, I can probably turtle much more with some heroes that it could be like 40 50, but just I'm just pushing basically the limit of the game, doing like a turtle, but still. These games are so fucking fast, seriously, look at that. 4 minutes, 11, 15, 21, 25, 15, it's insane. And it looks like Radiant is winning all these games. So that is the match, man matches. Um, not really sure if you want to like search for this, like what's the. How can you find a good game? No idea. You cannot really select like a buff, you know, duration. Or maybe you can, you cannot. You cannot select anything here. So that is it. And the last page is the uh, items. Let's go with the... Uh, let's go with the old time. 
most used items 80 million times <laughs> is power thread and oh power threads. We got magic one, second one, and town portal scroll. I always want to say town of scroll of town portal, but that was Diablo saying. Did they change it? I think for copyright reasons. Ridiculous. Arcane boot, face boot, bracer, bracer. <laughs> All the supports with no farm, 29 million of them. Yes, I'm talking to you. Definitely there's some of them watching. I've done it too. Bracers, amazing. It's a place number... What is this? Number six? We are six with the bracers. We'll be shitty support with no items. We are number six. Good. It's insane. Like, 80 million power threads. <laughs> That's insane. That's absolutely insane. How much money is that, by the way? 80 million times... What, 1,000... 500? Hmm. Delicious, delicious money. <laughs> I think it goes straight, straight to the Gabe Newell. <laughs> so there you go. And least used items is a buckler. It seems. <laughs> One million bucklers. <laughs> kind of a retarded statistics. Ethereal Blade is not used that much, but the winning ratio is pretty decent. And the Rapier is obviously not used, but the winning ratio... You know, why is it high, the winning ratio? It's actually a million times, which is not that much compared to the... I always... Uh, there we go. Compared to the power chest, of course, it's not that much. And there's a 50% because... It's... it's <laughs> Again, 50% all the time. Agony Skeptor, it seems like 70%. Holy shit. I'm kind of thinking, like, what hero actually benefits from Agony Skeptor that much? And I have nothing. I have actually nothing. Like, Nature's Prophet, not really. I don't like that. I actually can't tell you what hero benefits from Agony Scepter better than other, any other item. And that is 70%, so maybe I'm playing wrong. <laughs> Possibly. This is actually the highest here, look at that. This is actually the highest winning ratio with the Agony Scepter, with over like 20 millions. Okay, let's go to the winning ratio. I want to again point out the fact that um, this means basically in the end of the game, meaning ending screen. This is from the ending screen because Abyssal Blade, okay, 1 million times and winning ratio is pretty high, 86% or Divine is 91%, 92%. This basically means when people have like insane farm, they're winning like, you know, 60-10, what you do? Well, you buy items that are completely insane and you would probably never get them in a normal game, okay? So Abyssal Blade, Rapier, you can go, even Satanic I think it's kind of a ridiculous item because you don't usually do Satanic, okay? Butterfly, again, with the Butterfly, Yes, you are probably winning, okay, at least 80% times you are winning, so these items, as you can see, like high tier items, completely high tier items, are just here because people buy them in the end of the game when they are already basically winning, or basically when they already won. So that is why it has winning ratio that high, plus, as I said, the lowest ratio is because people cannot finish these items in a time, like let's say boots, just boots. 12 million people normal boots again supports <laughs> I think they have like a boots and a bracer so they are putting you know they are putting in both statistics in a bracer is decent statistic for them but in the boot section it's pretty bad so that is it that is it for the website I think game impact item you know there you go <laughs> sure sure refresher orb of course so if you want to win most games you go refresher orb divine you need to have ages it seems by the statistic, or it's gonna be kind of a tricky. <laughs> and Dagon level five. Okay, that's your that, that 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 is your goal. That's your item build for now. Economy. We got rape here again. This doesn't mean anything, unfortunately. So that is it for Dota buff. I definitely explained a lot. Let's stalk some people. And <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm actually not kidding. No, it's hard to find them. So that is it. Let's talk some people. There you go. And yeah, I think it's interesting. I like it. Somebody will have definitely probably the private part, which is not there. There's nothing private. Like everything that you can see in your Rota client and more, much more, is there. So if your name is, I don't know, Balls to the Walls, I'm sorry if I find you, but Balls to the Walls. Ah, we do. We do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, kid. Oh, shit. Draw Ranger. He loves Draw Ranger, this guy. You can fight anybody here. He loves Draw Ranger. Look at that. 
Oh my god, what is it? Oh my god. He loves Luna and Drone Ranger. <laughs> Let's see, page 8. He's winning a lot of them though. You can't, you can't say anything against this guy. I think it was like that. I'm playing Drone Ranger. That's good. Skeleton King poof, lost. So he like went back to the core, to the basics. And yeah. <laughs> it's weird, only 20 something games. Let's see his records. Hmm, I love Drone Ranger, one Luna. So it's interesting that you, you, you can stole, stalk somebody so much. Um, some pro players, you know, see their GPM and most kills. 7600 damage. I really think, hold on, I have to actually check. Let's check Sing Sing. Okay, let's check Sing Sing how much damage he had. This is just bonus. This is just bonus video. Let's say Toby how much damage he did. As a Venomancer, that's actually pretty decent as a Venomancer. 40,000 damage. That's probably for the ulti, but still, it's, it's definitely decent damage. Let's go with the Sing Sing. 51,000 damage. So my f for 54,000 damage, it seems like pretty a lot with the DK. Yeah, 1,800. Yes, yeah, sure. Sure, buddy. <laughs> That's pretty much normal stat. Yeah, mm-hmm. I cannot explain because it's nothing special here. I don't think this works as should. Okay. <laughs> 2,000 GPM. Hmm. Sure. So that is it. And thank you for watching. This was a Dota buff. Again, the website is dotabuff.com. Two Fs, as you can see from here. And that is it. Um, I love the website. I think it's funny. Definitely look at these like statistics, like records and <laughs> what is not played like Alchemist or Visage, the shitty heroes. And one more thing, actually. One more thing. Very quickly. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Anti-Mage. Best versus Alchemist. I'm going to be just randomly click clicking through these heroes, okay? Let's go Batrider. Alchemist, Brute, Doom. Pagna. Let's go Pagna. We got... Alchemist, Brute, okay, just that, no Doom, no Doom this time, we get Brute Mother, Alchemist, Doom, Clinks, for example, they're not clicking on the same one, look at that, I'm changing it, Alchemist, of course, he has to be there, Puck, let's go with the Puck, Doom, Brute, Alchemist, Arza, Arza is the one, Doom, Alchemist, Brute Mother is slipping by, but I think she's like placed number 7 here, <laughs> Lycan, Doom, Alchemist, Brute Mother, of course, we got Luna, we can actually go there, Doom, Alchemist, and what you are expecting with the Tide? Support. It cannot be, oh, Alchemist, Brute Mother. It seems like every freaking hero is defeating Alchemist, Brute, and, and, and Doom. <laughs> and Doom. It's so sad for the Alchemist. Like, seriously, this guy, this guy is losing everything. It seems he's losing against everybody, as a brute, as Doom, but definitely the Alchemist. It seems like he's the he's the shitty hero. He's the shit right now, <laughs> against uh, anybody basically. So that is it. Thank you for watching Dota buff. Check it out. You can stalk me. You can stalk me. You can stalk anybody that you want. And that is it. By the way, I'm the first one. <laughs> Try to beat that. And that is it, so thank you, for, thank you for watching. There's gonna be some gameplay tomorrow, Saturday, I'm gonna play something. And we have to wait for Meepo, man. We have to wait for Meepo, it's gonna be next week, Wednesday, and it's gonna be so much fun. So, again, thank you for watching.